This walkthrough covers all stages of working with the MetaConformer in Combiner mode. The MIDI output of the keyboard is connected to the MIDI input of the MetaConformer, and the MIDI output of the MetaConformer is connected to the MIDI input of your instrument. In this case, it's the Digitact, essentially eight independent samplers in one body. Each can be configured to its own MIDI channel. After MetaConformer reset, select the operating mode. To do this, just twist any knob that sends a CC message. Let's agree to call it the communication CC, because this knob you will be able to change the MetaConformer settings. Select second from the left LED, which corresponds to the combiner mode. The first four tracks of the Digitact are listening to MIDI channels from 5 to 8. Since the channels are mono, you can only play on one channel at a time. In this mod, the MetaConformer passes through itself without changes all incoming MIDI notes and messages except those that came from the input channel. Each through note message is indicated by a flashing green LED. One blink for not on and one for not off. Messages from the input channel are sent to the processing unit of the MetaConformer and sent to the output already converted. Let's turn Digitact into a polyphonic sampler. To do this, you need to configure the MetaConformer cells. In this mode, each MetaConformer cell is capable of storing the number of a MIDI channel, which will become one of the voices. Setup is quick and easy. Switch to the MIDI channel of the desired voice, for example track 1 on MIDI channel 5. Use the next prev buttons to select one of the 8 MetaConformer cells. Enter Learn menu. Press any note on this channel and exit Learn menu. Ready. The MetaConformer saves the channel of the incoming node. The setup is complete. Fast and easy. I set up the other voices in the same way. Let's move on to the input channel of the MetaConformer. The default is channel 1. I'll show you how to change it later. Now you can play polyphony from samples. As long as I only press one note at a time, that note is sent to the first voice. If the first voice is already filled, the MetaConformer goes through all active cells in search of a free voice and then sends a note to it. The MetaConformer searches for a free voice starting from the active cell. I move the active cell and the same chord changes completely. Therefore, the order in which the voices are activated has a great importance for the sound. bit display inspired by vintage computers shows which voices are currently active. The MetaConformer allows you to simply mute previously added voices. Pressing the cell button toggles mute of active cells. Removing a voice is as easy as setting it up. Select a cell 
Enter Learn menu. Hold Learn while the parameters are being deleted. Exit Learn menu. Learn menu corresponds to cell settings. Configuration menu corresponds to global settings of the metaconformer. The green LED starts flashing. There is a special paragraph in manual about the global settings menu. Now I will only show you how to configure the input channel of metaconformer. Move the cursor to 8th from left position. Cursor is blinking. Value is showed on LEDs. Use the communication CC knob to set the desired channel number. Screen shows binary encoded numbers, least significant left. Ready! The input channel is configured. You can exit the configuration menu. Settings will be saved in memory. Created configuration also can be saved in memory. To do this, enter Learn menu of any cell and exit it with the configuration button pressed. All device settings will be saved in memory. Press Reset to restart the device. To start it in previous configuration, just press the configuration button. 